Austin's friend Sternberg came over. She's yucky, Austin told him. Who is, Sternberg said. Amy, Austin said. Amy, Amy, Amy. After Sternberg left, Austin stared at the moon, which looked like it was made out of cheese. The next day, a card came in the mail. It was an invitation to Amy's party. Isn't that nice, Austin's mother said. Yuck, Austin said. Now, the night before Amy's birthday, Austin dressed up as a cowboy and went out into his yard with a very, very long rope. The moon was as round as a plum. He was going to lasso it and give it to Amy for her birthday. He twirled the rope around his head and he threw it as high as he could. It came down and landed on his dog Fresco. After three hours, he managed to snag a seagull. He twirled the rope around his head one more time and threw it as high and as far as he could. It settled around the bright white moon. He pulled, but the moon was heavier than he thought. It bobbed at the end of the rope like a huge helium-filled balloon. Austin struggled with it and staggered out of the yard and bounced down the street, still holding the rope. As he tried to pull the moon closer, the rope got hooked on a truck heading east. By the time Austin unhooked himself, he was out in farm country, still wrestling with the moon, leaping through a field trying to avoid the cows.